Today we're going to take a look at whether you can get away with running all winter long in your regular shoes or whether you need to upgrade to a winter shoe. four miles eight minutes 29 seconds per mile and it was pretty cold out there uh, but I still was able to run in my New Balance Fresh Foam Beacons uh, this is a shoe that I recently picked up and I've just been wanting to get some miles in it normally uh, with the temperatures that we had outside today I would probably reach for a winter shoe now just for comparison purposes this is the Under Armour Hover CGR mid this is a winterized shoe and the things that make it winterized this is the mid version it's not this extra collar that makes it winterized uh, the things that make it winterized specifically are uh, the upper and the materials here are designed to keep moisture out but keep warmth in so they're not breathable and they're intentionally not breathable so that way when you're in really cold temperatures uh, the wind doesn't rip through this shoe and freeze your feet and also if you're running in slushy or snowy conditions then uh, that moisture isn't getting inside the shoe and also getting your feet really wet that way. Also something else that I'd look for on a winterized shoe is a specific tread pattern. I think this is the same or this is, I think this is a different tread pattern for the hover shoe. What you are getting is a Michelin co-branded rubber on the outsole and you have full rubber outsole here uh, to enhance the grip. But also I'm looking for deep treads and also wide treads. And that's specific, that something that I look for because if I am running in snow, I want for the snow to have a way to kind of get out. Like if you look, think about looking at uh, a tire and the tread pattern on it, the tread pattern on a tire designed to help water that gets underneath the tire to go somewhere rather than create a layer between the rubber and the road surface, which is what causes hydroplaning. And so here I'm looking for a way for when I step down the snow to kind of go somewhere. So nice wide channels. These lugs are relatively deep uh, and I feel pretty good in this shoe. In contrast, just a regular running shoe doesn't have uh, the special coating on the outside and it doesn't have any specific things going on in the lug pattern. Now this specific shoe, the Fresh Foam Beacon, you're for the most part only have a couple of little rubber patches and those are the colored portions. For the rest of it, you're just running directly on the midsole material, which in this case is EVA foam. Uh, but some of the things that do stand out for me on this shoe is that the tr treads here are really, really deep uh, and they are wide. And so I would think that this would be pretty good. Uh, so I didn't feel too bad about taking it out there today. Temperatures were 23 degrees, so in the mid to low 20s. That puts us at about negative 5 degrees Celsius out there. So uh, for the most part, for a lot of you, that's as cold as it ever really gets for here in Chicago. It's going to get a lot colder. Uh, but for the temperatures we had today, this was fine. My feet were definitely cold. I had wool socks on today. Uh, I felt the coldness in there. It was uh, something that was noticeable and a bit uncomfortable for about the first two miles or so. After that, things started to warm up a little bit, either that or my feet got numb. I'm not sure which one it was exactly. 
Um, but I didn't really notice uh, the lack of having that special coating on the outside. Um, things were pretty icy out there in spots, but it was relatively easy to avoid. They do salt and plow that trail throughout the winter, at least a lot of the portions that I ran on today are salted and plowed, but we really haven't had any snow or significant uh, precipitation. All the ice that was out there is from the windiness that we've had lately uh, that's been pushing waves and water over uh, the edge of the uh, concrete and up onto the trail. So that's where all the ice was coming from, uh, but easy to avoid. So uh, I did try stepping on the ice a little bit just to kind of see how this thing would do. And I mean, it's kind of a silly test to, to run because any shoe, unless it has actual spikes in it, is really gonna have a hard time uh, being nimble on just a sheet of ice that's basically glazed over. I think that the ultimate answer to whether you need a winter running shoe is uh, how slushy and snowy and gross and disgusting is it gonna get? where you are. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, before I go for today, uh, I'm gonna talk about today's charity runner. Today's charity runner for the day is Sean White. He's gonna be running the Brighton Marathon in 2019 uh, for Mind, which is a charity that focuses on ending the stigma attached to mental health and mental illness and provides services to those who need it. Uh, a very, very important cause and something that I personally uh, think is extremely important. I've donated five pounds to his cause and I'll put the link to his fundraising page in the description so you can go and check it out if you wanna see or learn more about it. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?